there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography and today I'm going to show you how to create a black and white using the gradient map adjustment layer. So we're going to work on this photo here, this is my beautiful sun Landon, and we'll just get started. So the first thing you need to do is add a gradient map adjustment layer and you can do that by coming down here and clicking on this little circle icon down at the bottom and it's all your adjustment layers and you're going to click the one that says gradient map. And if this happens, it's totally okay. It's um, showing you the negative right here. And all you have to do to fix that is in your properties, make sure you click the reverse and it's gonna write that for you. And then it's, um, this is a pretty basic black and white. So we're gonna actually do some tweaking to this to make it a little prettier. So um, you'll have to click on this black and white slider here and that's gonna bring up the gradient editor. Now here we can do some tweaking and adjust the colors of the black and whites that that we were trying to put in our photo. So this slider down here represents, the whites represent the highlights in the image and the blacks represent uh, the shadows in the image. So if you wanna change the colors, all you have to do is click on uh, the little square here and then the color and it's gonna bring up the color picker and you can adjust your colors. So um, again, this is showing you what, what the shadows will look like so I recommend kind of sticking to a darker color, but you can change it to whatever color you want, depending on what you're striving for in your image. So if you wanted a, like a sepia color, you could kind of go there. So I'm gonna do that one for this, this one here. And I'm gonna go there, and then you can do the same thing for your white if, you, if you'd like, and um, go to the color and it'll color pick for you, and you can change it to whatever you would like. Um, so again, it's good to stay kind of light-ish, um, but it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna click OK. And so that's a basic, that's a basic black and white, I guess. So I'm gonna change this just so we don't get confused. We're gonna do some more tweaks to it. Um, so one thing I like to do to my black and whites is add some contrast. And you can do that really basically by um, going back down to your adjustment layers and selecting the brightness contrast from the list. And here, it's really simple. You can just adjust your contrast, boost it up a little bit. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you could boost contrast with curves or um, levels, but I'm just gonna do it this way. It's quick and easy. So I'm gonna boost my contrast. I don't know, take it up to 40 maybe. And I'll just change this. And then the last thing I like to do is add a matte to most of my black and whites. And again, there are so many different ways you could do that. I'll show you a really quick way using the curves layer today. Um, so we're going to go back down to the adjustment layers and select curves from the list. And um, there's a dark side, I guess, the shadow side and the um, highlight side. And so you just bring the highlight side down. I know it looks funny right now, but just give it a second. You bring the shadow side up. You can bring it to whatever you'd like and uh, it's creating a matte effect on your photo. Um, so I'm gonna rename this matte. And if that's too much for you, you can always adjust the opacity. You can adjust the opacity on any of your layers, but um, for the matte, I'm just gonna bring this one down a little bit. We'll leave it there. So here's where we started. We added the black and white using the gradient map. We added the contrast using the brightness contrast. And then we used, added the matte using um, the curves layer. So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.